kind of brief overview of the brewing process in general. We take malted barley and we crack that in our mill. From the mill it then gets sent to our mash tun where it gets hydrated with water. It then sits in the mash tun for a period of time before we start the Vorloff process to kind of clarify that. Once we clarify it up, uh, we send it over the kettle. And as we're sending it over to the kettle, we put water on top of that mixture. Uh, it's the mash in the mash tun there, the water and grains mixed together. That water goes on top, kind of helps soak up some of the sugars. As it soaks up the sugars, it becomes wort, uh, sugar water. And that's what we collect in our kettle to boil, um, add hops to, and later ferment and turn into beer. At the very end of that sparging process, we are left with some extra wort in that, in that vessel. And that extra wort actually, um, we just send it down the drain right now. We're looking for partners to help get rid of that waste. Um, we have yeast, hops, and other things we call trube. We have spent grains, we have this wort, and Carriage House Farms approached us about utilizing that wort for another artisanal product, some vinegar. And there are sugars in that wort that you can use to then create some malt vinegar. You know, we, we make a craft beer here, we make a craft product, and it's kind of awesome to see some of our byproducts go to making another craft product. So when we uh, get back from the brewery, um, Mad Tree, we've got our wort that we collected. Um, we pitch that with a yeast, and which begins the first fermentation, which is the production of alcohol. Um, currently we're doing it, obviously, as you can see, in small batches, five gallons. Um, and our goal here is to ramp this up and ramp it up very quickly. Um, we're looking at going into 250 gallon batches at a time and then ramping up to 1,000 gallon batches at a time. Um, and then we go to step number two, which is the uh, acidification, where we take the uh, malt mother and is added to the finished beer. Um, it starts to feed on the alcohol. It's converting the alcohol into acidic acid. Um, we use oxygen to speed that process up. This takes anywhere between a week and a month. Um, and then once this is finished, and then we go into the barrel aging process. This is the last step, which is our uh, barrel aging. And once we uh, let this sit for a minimum of six months up to a year, it's ready to bottle.